Coding is one of the most valuable skills you can have today. You can literally create whatever you want with your fingers. However, in the space today, what most people tell you to do is learn to code, get better at code, and then hopefully land a job. However, there's a whole different world out there where you can make money outside of just a job, but through businesses and creative work. So what I'd like to do in this video is just share three legal, not illegal, ways to make money through programming outside of your job. But before we get into the different types of business, you must realize that business is solving problems. Any business you see from like freaking apple to the bubbly drink that I'm drinking is solving a problem. You are watching this video because I am solving your problem of not knowing how to start a business with code. Again, I am drinking this bubbly drink, which is quite good because they're solving the problem of a tasty uh, sparkling drink. I'm using this piece of paper over here because it solves my problem of having to write on a freaking table. But regardless, it's important to understand that in business, you are solving the problem that the person is having through your code in our case through programming. The first business model I'd like to talk about is YouTube. Now you may say like Nazar, um, YouTube isn't a business. Yes, it is. But utilizing YouTube as a business model is one of the greatest modern and easiest ways to start a business today. It literally costs you nothing to record and post a video on a problem that you are working on or solving. And if you're interested in like talking and teaching, but don't really want to like teach in person like myself, this is such a great way to make money online. And within it, you can sell memberships, right? Through like the YouTube memberships, you can sell uh, courses that help people with a coding problem or like learn a specific language. You can make money through advertisers via YouTube or outside of YouTube. And obviously this goes for like TikTok, Instagram, it could be whatever social media that you have, but you can utilize code, your love of code and teach it to others and make a living off of that. And if you're my age, this is the easiest way to get started in entrepreneurship because again, it's freaking easy. You can get started right away and you can slowly build up a community and people that really like you and that will buy your stuff. And within the social media space, such as YouTube, you can simply talk about things to do with code. Maybe it's a video like this where you're talking about how to start a business with code like I have in the past. You can talk about um, learning a specific language, APIs, for example, I don't know, just stuff that you're going through and you're kind of teaching the world how you solve that. Now, the next business model is a SaaS company. Now, SaaS stands for software as a service. Basically, you create a software to solve a customer's problem. An example of a software as a service might be like Loom. And in our case, you know, what you can do is maybe like build a platform or something like that that people can use and they pay a subscription to uh, have access to better features. Now, I put this second because it's a little bit more difficult to make money off of it, you know, because you have to put up the money. It takes a long time to actually create a good product and let alone learn how to do so. But this is a great, great way to make money off of code because if you successfully, you know, make a product that people like, it is rewarding as fuck. But again, okay, you basically create a software for example, Loom or Notion, and then people pay to use your product software as a service per the name. Now, the final way is freelancing. And in like a really simple terms, I know you probably know what freelancing is, but you're basically selling your skill. And unlike software or YouTube, you're directly using your skill to create stuff for people. So let's say I am a client, I have a business idea, but I don't know how to code. I'll go on a freelancing platform like Fiverr or Upwork, I will post the job that I want done. So I want to make this platform and then maybe you can accept it. We sign a deal where I pay you like three, $4,000 and you create the application for my exchange of my money. And out of all of these, this is the fastest way to make money because you literally don't have to create anything. You just go talk to a client, they pay you, you make it and you go your separate ways. However, this is least like a business because you're utilizing your time a lot. However, it is a great, way to get started in this business space. But yeah, these are the three main ways. Again, doesn't really matter what you pick, okay? Focus on solving a problem and providing the solution for that problem through your business. That is the only thing that will work. It really doesn't matter what you pick as long as you do those and you do it well. But yeah, I hope you guys like this business style of video. I know a lot of you have asked about business and programming, so I decided to make a video on it. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I love you all. Again, if you like the video, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.